Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today together in the sight of God and in this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. To my beautiful bride, I know that you are pretty nervous right now, but just know that we are not in this alone. Today, we become a team, and soon we will have another team player standing right next to us. Me and Booger love you so much, and I can't wait to show the little one how beautiful you were on our wedding day. Future husband, I'm going to make this letter short and sweet just like me, because honestly, there aren't words to describe my love for you. I've prayed for my future husband as long as I can remember. I've prayed for him to be kind, good-hearted, and most importantly, a man of God. And man, oh man, did he know what he was doing. I got more than I could have ever wished for. Thank you for all that you've done for me already. You've taught me how to truly love myself, and for that, I'm so grateful. This relationship should be second only to your relationship to God. And therefore, it should not be entered into lightly, but in reverence and in the fear of God. You have made me a better person and have helped me get closer to God. With our faith in Him, I truly believe that we will make it through anything together. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to see that smile. See you soon. Love, Ethan. To be loved by you is the best feeling ever because your love is just so pure. I look forward to having that feeling for the rest of my life. We're going to be one rocking couple and have the best little family of our own. I love you forever, Ethan Dale, bunches and bunches. Love the future, Miss Fleming. Just having Ethan come into her life has just really um, solidified the woman that I know that she's going to be. He has helped her grow so much, and he's honestly the only guy she's ever been with that I've approved of. So there's that. Ethan, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's holy ordinance in the state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself into her own, so long as you both shall live? I do. Abigail, will you take this man to be your wedded husband? To live together after God's holy ordinance in the state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, keep yourself into Him only, so long as you both shall live. I do. For as much as Ethan and Abigail have consented together in holy wedlock and pledged their love in the presence of God and these witnesses, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man but a son. Ethan, you may kiss your bride. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Ethan Fleming. <laughs>